we're going to Singapore, we're going for work, but while we're there, we're also going to be going to see the F1, and then we're also going to be going to Hong Kong, and I'm, if I wasn't so tired right now, I'd be really excited about it. before qualifying of the F1 and we could hear them a moment ago like practicing I can't hear them now I was so tired this is my problem we both um we both just like woke up at two in the morning because two in the morning Singapore time is eight in the evening UK time and we woke up and we just couldn't get back to sleep again I feel like a bit of a wreck and it's really annoying me I want to be able to like go and do things but I'm so tired we're gonna go to Marina Bay now have a look at the shops get something to eat have something to drink that's where we're going what a view I could never get sick of this place it's so nice you can hear them a bit now yeah that's um that's not F1 F1 starts at 8 that very is, excited that is um probably uh Formula 2. Mm -hmm. I need to wake up. It's terrible, isn't it? Should we go up to the observation deck? Oh, I love that. That handbag charm. This is in Furla. And look at the black version there. And then over here, I like the contrast. I really like these too. Honestly, what do you think? I, know, I feel like they're trying to be Fendi, but this is Longchamp. They're really nice. Oh wow, so one of the things that we've always wanted to come and see is the gardens by the bay and some of you might know it for those tree structures. I don't know if you can hear the helicopters go over, like the, car, the F1 cars are going round at the moment like test practice but god it looks amazing. We've just walked part like through to the second part of the garden and I wish you could smell this. This is like part of the scented garden and it smells like oh I don't like it's jasmine but also like I don't know musk or something. <laughs> Original buildings against the skyscraper. Don't you think that's cool? Yeah, and look at the. I like the, the tiles, Bones. the green tiles as well.
We just went into the most amazing temple and I so recommend it to anyone who comes here. It's so peaceful in there and just beautiful and well, amazing. Like one of those places you're like, I really am glad that I went to that. So now we're in the Chinatown area of Singapore and we really wanted to explore this today and the temple is kind of, from what I understand anyway, um, the, the temple's kind of at the heart of Chinatown. I know it's very touristy, but I just, I love these. And then the cat. I was once told that the cat is symbolic of like, give me money kind of thing. I don't think they're silk, they're not silk or anything, but they look pretty cool. And I'm going to pick one. I was thinking this green color is quite nice. Do you think, David, do you think light green or pink or white? The white's nice, I guess the pink. Are they all one size? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the purple. I think green's quite calming though, isn't it? It's alright, it's just not that Yeah, I know what you mean. I prefer, I think I quite like the white one on the front. Yeah, white. Or the blue. I had heard about this place. This, you can go in here and they will tailor your own suit for you. You pick the fabric and everything and they've got some amazing things. We're from London. Oi, good old England. Yeah. <laughs> you know your London Metro paper? The morning paper? Yes, Metro. Okay, I have a big ride about my shop here. This guy. Right. He's the director of the uh, Lord of the Ring movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Peter Jackson. Yeah, Peter Jackson. Wow, these are all the suits you made. Oh, we have more fabric now. Oh wow, so you do you do versions of the designer oh, yes. Yes. things? Oh. We don't give you that price. Do you do women's? Oh yes, definitely yes. Now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have in mind? Um, a good suit? A good suit. Or a jacket. Yeah. Or a jacket, yeah. yeah sometimes women, you know, they go... They, that's they, nice. Yeah. The lapel you know, is different. Yeah, that's really nice. I like the tra you had some trousers in here as well. Yep. Just imagine I can get trousers that actually fit. Yes, we have a lady's tailor. Oh, wow. Slim feet straight down or you want a bit of play. They're you know, nice, you know? yeah. Really nice, aren't they? Okay, we do our money cut but not our money price. Huh? Oh, right. Oh yeah. my God, you got the money. This is wool and cashmere. Okay. So and I'm this thinking. Is, uh, this, is nice and this is a superior quality. Huh? Okay. This is also wool. I think the you like this, I think. That's the high end. Oh, I like these sort of the check. Okay, give it a bit of texture then. Yes. Yeah. See, I'm thinking for the jacket because the UK's cold. Okay. It might now, be this good. This is four season. Is that it? Means you don't have to worry about buying one in a winter, or summer. The lining we're gonna put is a nice silk cashmere lining. Yeah, that keeps you comfortable. Um, I'm thinking. Do you have anything like that, but more bold in terms of the pattern? Ooh. Oh, ki kind of like that, yeah. actually. Okay, I'm going to show you some here. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. They're cool. One of the best fabric there. <laughs> Can I get you all the drink or I'm fine, thanks. I've got water. No, I'm all right. I'm fine. Thank you. Inside is a shade lighter blue. Darker grey. Darker grey, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, that that's nice, but I don't know. I don't yeah, know get the, the, the darker grey, it goes with more. Yeah, darker grey. Yeah. For the jacket, no? Yes, yeah. please. So we've just come out of that suit shop. Now, we went in there, and the guy in there, I don't know if you saw, but he basically had a catalogue of all of these designer suits, and he was like, I can make them and I can you can pick your fabric pick your lining um, and there was a suit that he had in there it was not like a designer brand or anything but I liked the look of it and also you know I'm always moaning about how I can't get suit trousers that are long enough and that fit me well he's gonna make me a pair so 
Um, he's taken all my measurements and the material that I want and he's um, going to go back in there next week to uh, to like try it on. The red jacket that you saw, that's like their, what's the word? That's like their template that they put on you and then they, they alter it to like get all of the sizes and to make sure it's like perfect. So that's what that was. I actually like that they look like ballet shoes. Yeah, I like them both. Oh, one's got a high heel than the other. Yeah. The black's got a high heel. Um, look at this little key ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word, that's so cute. Sorry, I need to like get back on just want to show you all this shop which I love so it's basically it's really weird I walk past it it's like a dance shop uh, you can get all ballet shoes across the top but then also they do shoes that kind of like they're full leather and they look some of them look a bit like ballet shoes and then over here look at this look at this with the ballet shoes you can get like your charm that goes on the end and I just love all of the designs or like these. Hey everyone, we today we are going to go to qualifying. We've got our passes on and we're about to get in the boat because there's a boat that goes over like a short distance across the bay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Daniel. So we're just heading there to turn 23. program for today. Yes, this goes on until like 11.30. Once you're in here, everything's complimentary. This isn't sponsored by the way, we paid for this. <laughs> Yesterday the tag was silver, today for race day, it's gold. Look! 
F1. We've woken up quite late today because yesterday was a late night, but it was amazing. The, what we're doing today is two things. First of all, we've come into a shopping center to buy um, an N95 mask because, oh God, there's like haze here, uh, pollution, and it's so bad that we've just walked a short distance from the hotel and you can't catch your breath. It's like you can't get oxygen. And we've come to buy one of these masks because when we looked on um, online, on the people that like monitor air quality, it's coming up as like hazardous for today. So we're gonna go and get one of these. I think David's found where to go. But after we've done that, I'm kind of excited because do you remember I went into that shop that you wouldn't even look at twice? and they make your suits for you. Well, today is my second fitting. And I've got high hopes. I'm really hoping that I haven't spent money on something and I'm, it's gonna be really awkward and I'm like, it looks like really bad quality and I don't want it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I only paid 50% of the money up front. But I'm, I'm fingers crossed, I'm hoping. I saw some of the other stuff that they make in there and it all looks really like fine, really good quality. Ooh, Korean masks. The wrong sort of mask though. Not a breathing one. I do feel really tight chested, alright, already. It's not going to go over your glasses, is it? Gotta go over the ears. So here we go. Moment of truth. Get to see this suit. Well, partially made, I think. And then they alter it. I've Thank lost you. weight since I came in. Oh, I have not. This is a place <laughs> more important than you lost weight. I know. Are you feeling like they don't? Uh, I don't know. I think you could put a belt on. I think it'd be fine. All right, leave just it. in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, now I can see more jacket. Yeah, you do the gamba. Yeah, I like it. the what about the sleeves? Like the sleeves. Okay. As you saw, tried on the suit. I'm so relieved because you know when you're just like, oh, what if the quality isn't that good? But honestly, the quality was amazing. So that was the first or setting, second fitting. And then uh, they drool over it with chalk and they're gonna go and finish it. And then I go back in in a couple of days. And before we carried on, we were walking along and we saw this shop that looks really cool, actually. Welcome to our Hong Kong vlog. We're about to go out for dinner and drinks and I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing, which is this. Just really casual because it's really hot here. Although actually I'm gonna take a jacket because it's freezing in the bar. Um, and that, by the way, I've been bitten by like the biggest mosquito and I know it looks gross. So I'm sorry about that. There is one, two, three, I think four or five hotel, no, three, four or five restaurants in here. This downstairs is the buffet, which we're not going to tonight because we've been to it for two nights and I'm starting to look like the buffet. Over there, this is Vietnamese restaurant. We're actually gonna go to the bar because they do salads in there and stuff like that. Um, I've had quite a few of you asking about the protests and just warning me. And um, when we first got here, there was no, sign of protest at all and there actually still isn't however um i think they're going on on hong kong island as opposed to we're in kowloon so we haven't really seen any but tomorrow's meant to be bad isn't it yes i'm going to three yes what do we need three i love this lift don't swear on the vlog yes Going down to the bar. Just imagine if this broke and it like smashed down. 
Yeah, so I've had quite a lot of you talking about the protests and I think the worst one's going to be happening tomorrow because it's the 1st of October and I think there's like a 70th anniversary. Um, I need to read up on it actually, um, but hopefully it won't affect, but we've been told maybe to not leave the hotel. David was actually in the gym earlier and he said the alarm went off. I was out at the time. You didn't have to evacuate though. They, no. were, they came in and told you it's like a drill and it's like, well, that doesn't fill me with hope. Yeah, we can sit outside. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the taxis. I love the taxis here. We're right by Victoria Harbour here. And you've got Cartier. So we've been here a few days now. Our work bit is done and we've got two more days left. Now what's really annoying is tomorrow was gonna be our, uh, what's the word? It was gonna be like our day off where we go and explore Hong Kong. And then we found out tomorrow being the 1st of October is this day where there's gonna be mass demonstrations apparently. Do you know something though? Since being away, I've caught a really nice glow, a really nice tan like this, apart from my mosquito bite, which I'm just gonna hide with my hair. Yeah, this trip's been really good. This is the, my favorite bit about this menu. It lights up. <laughs> For some more? No, no, It's pretty strong, this drink that he's made. I know. With previous cars, oh, except the Fiesta that we've kept like forever. I yeah, just but that makes sense because it, has, it, it never depreciates. No, I know, but I just feel with, with my car, it because because Porsche never change the fundamental style. I don't feel like they really date that much. And touch wood, it doesn't break. It doesn't go wrong. And you have to service it every two years, not every one year. And I just like it. I just ordered this drink. This is, what was it? Rose, no, um, something else. In your menu. rose, raspberry, and coconut. And they've put coconut on the outside. And it looks amazing. So today, that's David. Today, we are walking around Hong Kong. Today is the, it's kind of the worst day. Our hotel this morning, they've got all security outside. I don't think it will happen over this side. I'm just hoping that. But the great thing is, because of that, no one's out. <laughs> it's so quiet. If any of you have ever been to Hong Kong, can I just say, normally this is bustling around here and it's dead. Which, you know, it's quite good. It's good for the vlog. Now, one of the main shopping roads up here is called Nathan Road. We're approaching that now and along are different uh, shopping centers. So there's one along here that are called K11 that I saw the other day that I want to go in. Oh no, is it closed? Oh no. Oh no, they've closed it due to the protests. Earlier, in my naivety, I was like, it's fine, it's no problem, but now, actually when I look around, a lot of the shops are closed. Should we just carry on going and see where we end up? If you are interested in luxury items, I've already had loads of you who, uh, I've already had loads of you telling me not to buy anything luxury-wise from Asia because it's like more expensive, and you're so right, it is. It's not even that it's maybe more expensive by a lot like we went into Dior and it was more expensive by like a couple of hundred pounds not thousands but it wasn't really worth it they don't have any tax in Hong Kong but it's still still a bit more pricey so I haven't been bothering doing any of that I've just really been looking more at things that we can't get back in London oh god look all the shutters are down over there oh it's Nathan Road and it's really really quiet considering now because a lot of stuff is closed a lot of it looks like I think some of the bigger shops are okay like the big brands but we're gonna walk down to the end here to the the like the harbor Louis Vuitton is closed as well I've got a horrible feeling that we've underestimated this 
So here we are, we've made it to the harbour. And this is Hong Kong Island over here. This is a really bad shopping vlog because everything's closed. I'm sorry. I'm actually going to keep it on because it's freezing in here. This is really warm. Okay, so... Um, tiredness. Tiredness is real. When we get on the plane, I thought I'm going to attempt to do another unboxing on the plane now the one on the way out here i'm gonna to link to it below but for any of you who saw it i'm so sorry the sound was really bad and i didn't know until i went to edit it and then by the time i'd edited it i was like i've just spent like over an hour doing this i might as well just put it live so thank you for anyone who, who like you bared with me on the, that video i'm gonna eat my food like my dinner then I'm gonna get unready, so take off my makeup, and I've got a really good um, routine, skincare routine, that I'm gonna do on the plane, so that when I land, I don't have like dry and dehydrated skin, which I've got right now. And yeah, you might you might wanna hang out, you might wanna see it. I think we've got, we're gonna board in about half an hour or something. Canapes. David's about to play a game of solitaire, I think on the inbuilt game thing. 